So you wanna be a TikTok shop affiliate, but you don't have enough followers yet. Let me give you a couple actionable things that can help. One, you gotta produce a lot of content. A lot of content. Think about it. You're grabbing your phone, you're pressing the record button, and you're clicking and talking for 30 seconds. Or maybe you're taking a video of your cat, or maybe you're sharing a dialogue you're having with a business partner. Whatever it happens to be, it doesn't take that much to make a video. For me, it's part of my all day flow. Just as I'm thinking about things, as I'm, in, I'm inspired, I don't overthink it. I don't care about being perfect. I don't worry about the failure of it. I just grab the phone and click. I keep these little tripods and sticky tripods all over the house, meaning a little sticky thing to the mirror that my phone can stick to. Anywhere where I can just grab and go, put it up there and talk for a few minutes. Now, sometimes I'm not talking. I'm doing a quick scan of my pool or I'm showing the birds sitting at the bird feeder, or I'm showing my cats playing on a new cat scratcher, whatever that happens to be, it is quick and it's easy and it's not overly edited. So when you think to yourself like, I can't possibly make that much content, you actually can if you just start practicing pushing the button and recording something. You even could record something, don't say anything, and then up at the top, after you click the little right arrow, up at the top, this sound is gonna automatically start playing. The AI looks at your video and adds a sound for you. Sometimes that's enough. Sometimes you might wanna add a funny POV or a funny saying across it or something motivational if you want to. Whatever it is, do not overthink it. I'm gonna give you an example. Right now, I out my window, I can see my trash can. Trash day came today. I need to go grab that trash can and pull it in. Believe it or not, that's a video opportunity. I can hit the button right now and record out my window that shows me grabbing the trash can and bring it in. And then I can put a caption across it that says something like, grateful for trash day, hashtag homeownership, or single woman owning a home or something like that. Literally, everything can be a video opportunity. Or go get record yourself, bring in the trash can, press the sound and see what happens. All of a sudden you're gonna start laughing or you're gonna go, oh my gosh, I never would even thought about that. That's such a good idea. You don't know. I, I, the other day a little bird was bobbing its head as I was sitting out by the pool and I grabbed my phone really quick and I just got him bobbing the head. Then I pressed the ad sound and they put the perfect music behind him bobbing his head. Okay, that's first and foremost is several pieces of content per day. Because every time you post a piece of content, that is the opportunity for something to take off, okay? Now, is it better if it's niche focused? Maybe. At first, I like to tell everybody, use your lifestyle. What is your lifestyle? If you're a stay-at-home mom, that is your lifestyle. You're going to talk about parenting and kids and, and the, the lack of ability to get time to take a bath because you're so busy with the kids. It's rants, it's coupons, it's savings, it's young life, it's all of those things. That is your brand. You are your brand. You know how many people out there are gonna to relate to you? Now let's do the opposite. Let's look at somebody like me who's in who's over 50. My audience are more of people that are more settled in. They might be retired. They're empty nesters. Their kids have gone off to college. They have a lot more free time, but what are they thinking about? Lifestyle, travel, golfing, health, wellness, you know, all of those types of things. And so that's gonna be a different type of audience. They might be interested in fine wines. They might be interested in cooking. They might, pets, or pets are a big one almost anywhere you are. That would be a lifestyle. Let's say you're, you know, whatever age you are, and you're married, no kids, and you're an avid golfer. That is a lifestyle. You can talk about golf, I bet, all day long and all of the things that come around it. So my first thing is, use your lifestyle as your niche. You are your brand. If you are funny, be funny. If you are smart, be smart. If you are super sarcastic and snarky, be sarcastic and snarky. That is your brand and you will attract people who like that, who like you, who probably can relate to you. So showing up who you are, creating so much content that people can see who you are, that is how you get started on this platform. Now, if you can create engagement by asking a question, ask for advice, talking about topics that a lot of people care about commenting on, or even starting a little controversy here or there to get people engaging, 
it will be incredible. I saw a woman last night give an example. She said she was making a video about how she was packing steak in her kid's lunch for the first day of school. And she started laughing at herself. She goes like, come on, I'm not really... I'm not really putting steak in there, but she was putting something in there as she was doing it. But the caption or whatever said steak first day of school. She knew everybody would pop off on the comments. You got to kind of have a thick skin because everybody's coming at her like, oh my gosh, you're putting steak in your kid's lunchbox first day of school. Uh, but that makes her money. That gets her followers. That gets her engagement. So consider that carefully too. be a little bit. Uh, funny about things, misspell things occasionally, put something quirky in the background that people will go, what is that back there? You know, that kind of thing and get people commenting. That's my tip for today.